Hey Taurus, I hope y'all are doing well. This is going to be a general reading uh, for the current energy to the end of July. Any information you need, you can find it in the description box down below. Uh, I do have personals open for the time being, so all that information is below for anybody who's interested in getting one of those while they are open, okay? So let's see what else we have here. Three majors right in the middle. Hmm. Actually, towards the end, technically, here. I feel like the end of July, like, I feel like in the coming weeks, something big is going to happen here. Because you have three majors in a row. The Emperor, the High Priestess, and the Hierophant showing up here. Now, some of you, it might be with another Taurus. It could be with a Pisces or an Aries. You could just have those signs um, in your chart, okay? But these energies showing up, like, I feel like you are actually put in the driver's seat in a situation where you may not know much, okay? The High Priestess showing up. You may not know much, but you're being asked to make a decision about something here or to commit to something it might feel a little bit uncomfortable to you but i feel like this is something you can absolutely trust all right i know that sounds crazy but i feel like it's something you can trust and the high priestess showing up is telling you that you need to follow your intuition in this situation as well okay so not your emotions don't follow the fear follow your intuition it's like this sounds good it looks good it feels right you know um what's going on with the three of wands Five of Swords is showing up. Some of you, you're already thinking about, like, you're already thinking about this. You know, it's almost like you're manifesting it without trying. It's something that I feel you're envisioning. And, you know, you're attracting it in is what's happening. But once you get that offer, it's like, is this too good to be true? Is the energy that I'm getting from you here? What's going on here? Some of you, you could have your moon in Cancer or your moon in Taurus here. Let me open this back up. My app has been closing out, and then I have to walk around. And um, when I want to end the video, it's irritating. Anyway, let's see what else we have here. I also feel like there's going to be a Libra who reaches out to you here and you're like reluctant about responding here. Like it almost seems like you feel like you have to respond to someone. Um, it's odd. It could be a Capricorn or a Gemini for some of you, but it looks like you are. This is someone who's not let go of you or they've not let go of an issue. Some of you, I feel like the reason you think you have to respond is because you're triggered about something here. I feel like they're trying to get at you. I feel like they're trying to trigger you. It's like they'd rather have bad attention and no attention is the energy that I'm sensing here, Taurus. Like, um, and I also feel that they kind of, <clears throat> they're kind of picking up on the fact that you're letting go. You're about to start something very special for yourself. Some of you, you could be meeting someone that you may start a family with or blend families with. So that's exciting. Looks like it could be a water sign or another earth sign, but this is somebody who's very stable. They want a future with you. Like you guys have the same values, the same goals in mind. So it looks very exciting here, Taurus. I, I love to see it. Um, there are details down below for anybody who's interested in personals, Patreon, Instagram. But if this is where we part, thank you for watching this far. I really appreciate you, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.